Now it's time to talk about why the Google Suggest application you just developed needs Google.php to connect to Google Suggest. In other words, why you say get data Google.php and then in Google.php open the actual Google Suggest URL like this. Why don't you just use that URL directly in your Ajax application and download the response text from Google Suggest directly in your Ajax application in the browser and work with that. Why do you need the intermediary of Google.php? In other words, why do you have to call Google.php, which actually does the connection to Google Suggest? Why can't you connect to Google Suggest directly from your web page? The answer is that you would, if you tried to connect directly to Google Suggest from your browser, using an Ajax application in JavaScript, the browser would get suspicious because it would see you're trying to contact a different domain, a different web server that your page originated at. In other words, your Ajax application that uses Google Suggest may be on your ISP, your internet service provider. And yet, the browser sees that you're trying to contact another URL another web server entirely from the web server in which your page originated, you're trying to contact Google Suggest. And that makes the browser suspicious and thinks that you might be doing something nasty. And so it will issue a warning in the form of a dialog box. The dialog box says, explains to the user that something suspicious may be going on, that your JavaScript is trying to contact another web server behind the scenes, should it proceed. And of course, the user should click yes, you should proceed. However, that's annoying, and you don't want to have that happen all the time, because that's something that, that breaks the flow of the program, and it's a wise precaution on the part of browsers, but Ajax applications have to get around that somehow. The way you get around that is if you're going to contact a different web server to get your Ajax data from, you use a an online script instead of contacting it directly from your Ajax application. Now, if you are contacting your same web server as your Ajax-enabled page originated on to download data from, that's fine. However, if you contact a different web server, then your browser is going to Firefox, Netscape, Internet Explorer. They all will display a dialog box asking the user if they want to proceed. So to get around that, what you do is you use a online script on the web server, and the script will connect to the foreign web server and download your data for you, and there's no problem then. There's no dialog box displayed because the browser is not doing anything unusual. Instead, the script on the web server, on your web server, is connecting to the foreign web server and downloading the data for you. So that's an important point. If you're going to use Ajax, you have to know that if you're trying to connect to a different web server, in your Ajax JavaScript, the browser will display a warning message unless you go through an intermediary step like this, such as using Google.php, uh, this small file as you see in front of you now, to do the connection for you to the foreign web server, and then to pass the data back that it extracts from the web server back to your JavaScript. So that's a very important point to realize. You know, if you do ever come across that dialog box, that warning dialog box, you should know you have to use an intermediary online script on your web server in order to do the actual connection to a foreign web server.